welcome to Mikhail TV guys, as today we look back yet again at the pure darkness that is the original poster. However, today we'll be focusing on the remake as we dive into poster redux. Postal is a game that I have previously covered on this channel, as we discuss the controversy surrounding the original game, and what made the original game so damn dark overall. And we'll be doing the same today, as we look at the changes made in Postal Redux. Running with Scissors originally announced Postal Redux back in 2014 as a remake of the original game, using the Unreal Engine 4. The game would mostly stay faithful to the original while upgrading the overall presentation to 4K with better graphics and animations while the gameplay style and story arc remain the same. Redux sports a redrawn high definition art for all original levels, fully animated character models, animated loading screens, improved controls, and a remastered soundtrack and re-record dialogue from Rick Hunter reprising his role as the Postal Dude. As with any remake, there are destined to be slight changes throughout. Here in Redux, several weapons have been redesigned and rebalanced. The machine gun no longer has infinite range. Mines now have a higher blast radius, and the spray cannon now has its own ammo type. Executions now have their own animations instead of defaulting to the SMG. An alt fire button has been added for throwable weapons and mines. Some entry points in some levels have been changed in order to better connect them together, and all art had been redrawn for a more modern look. The original soundtrack was completely re recorded from scratch, with a new original tracks for the game's rampage mode. Each level exit is now toggled after killing enough enemies. The side characters in the game's final cutscene had been recast to Corey Cruz, who voiced Postal Dude in Postal 3. And last but certainly not least, Running with Scissors decided to do away with the ever so controversial final level in the original game. In Postal Redux, there is no elementary school level at the end, instead now being replaced with a new ending, a level called The End where Postal Dude simply watches as a coffin is lowered into the ground before collapsing to the game's final cutscene. Running with Scissors deemed it necessary to replace the original elementary school level as they believed the original's ending was lost in shock value due to the fact that school shootings unfortunately have become all too common in today's society. Even though in that original ending the player couldn't actually kill any of the kids in the final level as it was basically just heavily implied what was going to happen as the screen cuts away to the final cutscene. Redux would add a new level titled the Carnival in between the city and central park levels. This level would feature clowns as a new NPC as well as a new weapon pickup. Here the revolver is introduced boasting a high damage and accuracy, with the trade-off being a smaller damage radius than most other weapons in the game. Gameplay in Redux mostly stays the same, but Running with Scissors did achieve making the game's control feel better all overall when compared to the original. However, the game is an isometric shooter, so it still feels like one. Once again, the game's main plot is kept vague that way not to detract from the main gameplay here, which is basically a shoot em up, with the main objective, just as before, is to kill a certain percentage of hostiles in each level in order to progress to a new location. From what can be gathered from these games, the player takes up the role of a seemingly average man, known only as the Postal Dude, who believes a mind-altering substance has been released on the city's population and is infecting people with insanity and blood loss. Capped off with the sudden eviction from his home, the Postal Dude believes he himself is the only remaining person unaffected by this, as he ventures out to put an end to all of them. However, it is heavily implied that the Postal Dude 
has literally lost his mind and is going on a mass shooting spree, which is why the game is just so fucking dark. This game also heavily implies that dark forces may be to blame for his mental lapse, thus implied through the game's dark art direction and soundtrack, but overall is left vague and open to interpretation. The game comes to an end with Postal Dude seemingly having a mental break as he collapses and presumably captures him, where he wakes up in a small cell of a mental institution. Thus triggering the game's final cutscene. The game's ending scene features a doctor commenting on the mental state of Postal Dude and the phenomena of going postal as the stress of modern life can drive a person to madness. The dude himself is then shown lying in a padded cell, straight jacket bound, suggesting that he was truly insane all along. Overall, Postal is quite the experience, with its vague dark story arc and its violent shoot 'em up style action gameplay. I was drawn to this Postal series from the controversy, as I have been drawn to many other controversial titles. To this day, the original Postal has a massive cult following, as is deemed to be the darkest game in the series, with its vague, mysterious undertones. Overall, Redux takes what the original game was and brings new life to it. I really find myself intrigued with this game and the differing opinions of it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up to date on when new videos drop on this channel. And if you've watched this video to this point, please be cool and hit that like button. As for me, this has been Kill TV. And I'll catch you in a future video. Exactly what set him off, but rest assured, you will have plenty of time to study him. <laughs>